Peggy 16. At first, when we start developing uh, Styx Master of Shadows, we wanted to uh, come back to the roots of the genre through a unique character that is uh, Styx, our nimble goblin. Styx is an anti-hero. It's not the kind of character you used to play. What's the deal, Captain? He's an ugly little green character. When he wants something, he will get it, or he will kill to have it. We like the fact that he sometimes he will break the, the force wall. I'm not going to tell anyone if you put the level of difficulty down. Or um, joking about the situations that he will uh, face. A goblin has killed the queen! Ooh, a goblin! A scary goblin! It's nice to, to play a, a weak hero. The hell with you and your bullshit magic! Can you change it to a sandwich? His weakness is uh, as well as uh, strength because he's uh, small, so he can hide uh, himself pretty much everywhere. Animator Goblin is very fun because it's a little creepy creature. In the other games, we don't have a very good uh, reactivity. And in sticks, uh, it's very tack, 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 tack. But animations are still uh, smooth and nice. This reference was a uh, golem. My precious. But uh, still, it's, uh, it's not a monster. It's, uh, it's a kind of human uh, spirit. Hi there. I'm the new accountant. He's not very uh, muscular. He's uh, very skinny. Ow! He can fight a man. Uh, Face to face. I'd be surprised if my dagger could penetrate the armor. You have to take care where you are going. You have to uh, observe, uh, detect the patterns of the, the guards, and then uh, take action using the environment. It's up to the player to choose how we want to play, but you have to keep being uh, st very stealthy. Oops, my bad. You can be the guy that go in and out through levels, getting every e items. You can be the sneaky one who never raises any alarm. So it's kind of a hardcore game, uh, there are a lot of challenge. Making a stealth game from the scratch, it's a big adventure. To infinity and beyond! But uh, we had the opportunity to, to do it here. You will have the honor of drinking his blood. Dwarf bits taste better. Plus calories too. The status game is really level design oriented, so we have to take a different approach of building levels. Our way to build level is uh, quite particular. In the team, we have a, a lot of people that really like the uh, medieval architecture, so we have some reference from artists like uh, Escher. We can't like the level just to be pretty. We have to care about the, the gameplay. It was very important for us to have different uh, players' experiences. That's it. Just keep on ignoring what the developers want you to do, and I'll just keep on dying again and again. That's why we have a lot of uh, verticality for our goblin to reach a high point where uh, nobody can uh, reach him. And you can also like customize your skills according to your playstyle. We have the, the crafting branch that allows the player to, um, to craft uh, some new gadgets and uh, some new uh, lethal weapons or uh, non-lethal weapons uh, as well. Smoking's bad for you, boys. Real bad. Styx is quite different from the, the other game because of its uh, specific mechanics. Like, uh, for example, you can create a clone of yourself. You have to be a bit smart to, to use it because it allows you to be uh, in different places in the same I time. I think you'd follow me this far. See, I got a few tricks too. We can play with another friend in the same level. Two guys, you have twice more chances to reach the end of the level, but also like twice more chances to raise alarms. And depending on the missions, sometimes raising even a single alarm is just like game over. What the f oh, damn! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Shit. What is great by doing a sequel is we had great feedbacks from the, the press and even the community, the players. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> it was like uh, as if we had a rough diamond and we wanted to polish it. We try to improve everything. It's all about improvement. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.